Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to my part 2 of the video of comparison GTX 550 Ti versus Intel HD 4000. Now guys I'll have to disappoint you a little bit, I did receive the GTX 550 Ti, however I did not receive the model that I was looking for, the uh, 550 Ti DirectCU from ASUS. Um, I received some cheaper version by some mistake probably. Now I still, uh, I'm still gonna go ahead and do benchmarks quickly there just to show you guys how this car performs. I would not expect a lot of differences between them two cards. Um, however, direct uh, CU card looks much nicer. It's much heavier card. It performs uh, better if you overclock it, especially. So um, I'll just have to go with uh, what I have and show you guys what I have for the moment. So. I'm going to boot it into the BIOS first, there we go, so iGPU, we select it to auto, and as it's auto that's going to enable itself, and save, changes and reset, I'm going to change the HDMI connection to the ASUS graphics card, okay guys, and we are back, so I already installed the latest NVIDIA display driver, there we go, 301.42 at the moment. Okay, and it's running off the NVIDIA GPU alone. I did not install the Lucid Virtue. Uh, Virtue. So we're gonna go with the benchmarks straight away, Batman first, and we're gonna enable fraps here. Make sure that the fraps folder is clean of my last benchmarks. Yep, it's still there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna copy them here just in case I'll need that info. Just before I do, guys, so I nearly forgot um, configure configure the options. Now the driver setup is standard. I didn't change anything. You probably won't see that, but it's 720p. VSync no, anti-aliasing uh, high, everything high and yes, and this is DirectX 11 features, MVSS and HP80 whatever that means and we're gonna go hold on yep 720p all high see you in the game now guys just for a sec before I'm there I'm gonna reset my power meter to show you the maximum temp uh, maximum load current wattage and maximum wattage so 134 already 148 that's increased by 50 watt to what we've seen before well 45 watt and go into the game Alfred, I took an and benchmark start so I can see straight away that the FPS is nearly twice higher so I'll see you when I finish with the benchmark okay guys and the benchmark is nearly over so we finish here Right, next game uh, we'll go with Spec Ops, why not? See in the game. Okay, and the options are for graphics 720p, high, high, VSync off, on, and ambient occlusion on. As you see, 179 watch already with this graphics card. Campaign, new game, easy as last time, and benchmark starts here. I'll see you at the end. Now guys, just for a sec, I've switched off the audio as I should have done in the first place. And can you hear the noise there of the fan of this graphics card? It's absolutely nuts, this graphics card is definitely going back. And I'm getting the direct C version, so once again I'll see you at the end of the benchmark. And there we go, it's nearly over, so yeah, um, Obviously the K side is a bit open, but still, done with the benchmark, still very high noise from the NVIDIA fan, I'm going to switch it off now, and it should cool down a bit. So next game we're going to go to Dodge Showdown, and I'll see you in the game. And we're here, so the graphics options are 720p supposed to be, same as last benchmark. We'll leave these as before. Jeez, it's high noise from that. Preset high. 
I'm going nuts here guys confirm the changes and I'll see you in the game so same as last time benchmark starts here and I'll see you when I finish all the race and we finished guys thank god benchmark done quit the game and for the next game I'm gonna switch the fraps off because it has its own inbuilt benchmark that is just cost two and I'll see you there okay guys so we in the game everything set to high uh, anti-aliasing to 4x filtering to 16x uh, v-sync off accept changes yes okay I'll just check resolution guys yep 720p and I'll see you in the game so guys the benchmark is nearly over as you can probably hear the graphics card is going nuts or the fan is going nuts I should say so there's another reason not to buy a um, not properly cooled graphics card now the case is open but it's not facing the camera it's facing the wall so you're getting all that noise still and there we go um, 126 seconds it took and 52.65 frames per second okay so games benchmarks are over next we're gonna go with the software like Cinebench okay so there we are and first just give me one sec actually I hope you can see it better now now guys we reached 193 watts so far which is absolutely crazy I think for the graphics card that it's only has 192 cores but anyway there we go with the test and there we are done 55.71 FPS so not too bad next CPU I know I've done it but still and we are nearly done so we'll see what score will that bring us should be nearly the same as last time so it's only a CPU test 5.98 nice next uh, 3d mark 06 and we are in so the settings are 1280 by 1024 everything standard as you see I can't change anything there anyway so we're gonna run the 3d mark and I'll see you guys in a few minutes and we nearly finished guys again sorry for the noise from the video card not much I can do we're gonna see what's the result an obvious increase over the most if not all frame rates and that's the graphics card calming down a bit and there you have it it's I hope you guys can see it it's 1900 uh, sorry 19,332 3d marks 8,007 SM2 score HDR 7789 CPU 6913 um, nothing there weird nobody has the system the 3570k CPU with such graphics card oh well and this is the settings everything is the same guys here I'm just gonna switch it off and we're gonna go to the next 3d mark which is 3d mark vantage and <clears throat> sorry results are sorry the options are exactly the same as before I can't change anything there because I haven't purchased the product it's a trial version so we're gonna go with the benchmark and I'll see you guys at the results okay guys and we are done so we're gonna view the results online again now once again the graphics card fan was going absolutely nuts on this no we still at 193 watts but I expect the last test to give me all those needed couple watts to bring it to 200 which is a bit high so 11,804 which is graphics 10,000 the CPU 20,882 and similar systems uh -huh. and yeah that's it guys so that's for 3D Mark um, Vantage which is DirectX 10 benchmark and this is gonna be DirectX 11 3D Mark 11 so nothing to do here but to run at performance preset 720p you guys probably can't see that and um, benchmark only and run 3D Mark 11 I'll see you at the results 
just a quick interruption guys sincere apologies i forgot to run 3d mark 11 um, on the intel gpu so there we go that's our intel settings at the moment um, the only gpu in the system is intel hd 4000 there's physically no other gpu in the system and i'm going to run the 3d mark 2011 and i'm going to show you quickly there the settings i can't change anything there it's set to performance um, so there's something on there and we're gonna go to benchmark test only now nothing else is running um, on the screen I'm gonna go actually quickly and do the basic theme there we go maybe even classic to switch off all the effects and we're gonna go to benchmark test and I'll see you guys in a sec when everything is finished and we are back so results are as follows 760 marks which is graphics score 644 physics 6722 and combined 777 okay guys so and we are done now let's see what results does this bring us so 20 2741 total uh, graphics 2445, physics 7725, combined 2587. Uh, compared to similar systems, da, 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 okay, usual stuff, okay. And last but not least is the specific uh, benchmark for those guys who are working with 3D CAD. And this is resolution as before 1280 by 1024, FSA none and I'm gonna run it once because it takes half an hour and I'll see you half an hour later okay guys and we finished so I didn't expect that much but it seems like the tests were more CPU than GPU heavy and you can see that in the water treating oh, can you it's 193 watts still so nothing increased there and the graphics card fan didn't go as mad as before so it just seems like the test went as heavy on the GPU as I expected. Probably just because the GPU is not as um, optimized as it should be. So the test results are Katia 6.3 and Scythe 2271, Lightwave 1686, Maya 571, Pro E whatever that is 144, SolidWorks 02 928. TC Viz 108 and SNX whatever that is is 275 so that pretty much sums it up guys I'm just gonna show the results side by side now and we're gonna go to conclusion next so I'll see you in a while Okay guys, um, you saw the results and you, sh you saw the video of what was happening on the PC and you saw the wattage increase and things like that. So to sum it up, um, good points first, um, it's a huge increase over the HD 4000 integrated graphics and it's only 100 euro at this time extra at the time of the filming. So, you know, it's not too bad, $125 or so. Um, what else is there? You also have 196 CUDA cores, which you could use for software, like, uh, you know, video work, like, uh, what's the software? Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. Okay, now I won't do tests there because I don't have it properly running just yet on this PC. So we'll skip that. Um, so yeah, plenty of CUDA cores, one gigabyte of memory, decent performance. Okay guys, so here we are back again. By the way, I nearly forgot, at the moment in the market, um, if you want to get a decent card 
for about 100 euro, 100 dollar mark in, in a round and you want, you need these CUDA cars and you need maybe to try SLI and you know, you want something that will allow you to play games at 1020, 1080, sorry, 1080p or maybe later 720p at um, most of them in high, on high settings if you have uh, a decent CPU of course and a decent system. So this is the card to go for. Um, so if you want Nvidia and if you want these things and if you want to pay only 100 euro, dollars or pounds, whatever your currency you're using, you know, I would recommend that. However, I dislike it looks, it uh, looks a lot especially of this particular ASUS cars. Now, I usually like ASUS for their designs and everything, but I think they just skimped too much on this graphics card and it just looks ugly. The fan is uh, just, it's a head wrecking fan. Um, I think it's a very poor choice for the fan, or maybe it's just the cooling solution that they're using is just not cooling the graphics card properly. So they need to use this ridiculous fan so thumbs down for the fan i don't know how direct cu performs maybe i'll get the direct cu maybe not now the water to use is absolutely horrendous as well this system without this gpu uses 100 watt and okay it's twice slower on in the games but not as noisy not as hot and you know you're saving a huge amount on electricity bill as well so unless you really need that horsepower i don't know if you guys should go with that um another point i suppose i one thing i could i could see be between the intel graphics and this graphics was that the video effects and everything just look nice on this graphics card. So some sort of uh, support on, or drivers on Intel graphics are not as good uh, as on the Nvidia. So yeah guys, the, it seems like this graphics card is producing nicer results, not only the better frame rates. So thumbs up for that. But um, if you want my honest opinion, would I buy it or would I not? I'll show it to you in a sec. That's my honest opinion. I'm gonna send this card back because it's just, there's nothing in this card that will keep me using it. Now, again, the DirectCU version might be much nicer, much better, much quieter, much cooler, but this particular graphics card is a no-no to me and it doesn't tick any of my box except for performance. Um, so yeah guys, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And thanks for watching, sorry if this was somewhat disappointing video for you guys. But um, hope we'll do a bit better next time and hopefully I won't be tricked into buying some hardware that I did not want to purchase. And yeah, see you next time, have a good day.